Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia Kasten, if you're new here, and I do mostly university and lifestyle videos, and I thought today, since we're the new year, I should probably do like a 2021 goals type of video. Um, I'm aware that we are in February, and the only reason I've waited this long to kind of do this video is just because I've had exams. So to everyone who was hoping that I would have a video out in December, I did actually take the time to film one, but it wouldn't work on my editing software for some reason, so that's why. But I will be posting now weekly on Sundays. And the cat goes by Jack. But yeah, so today I thought I would talk to you guys about my 2021 goals that I wrote back in January and kind of take you through them. And I try to be realistic because obviously this year COVID has been happening, or Miss Rona, I guess. And um, just in general, we haven't been able really to do all the things that we've wanted to do. So I've been kind of more realistic with my, what my goals are, just because, again, Miss Rona. So, <laughs> the first goal that I have is to be more consistent with my channel, to grow my audience, and do what I love slash have fun. So, this specific one, obviously I've been wanting to grow my channel for a while, and I've been trying to post a lot, especially during the first quarantine lockdown situation. So, yeah, uh, that's something I'm definitely going to have to continue again, and something that I am looking forward to doing, just because I'm trying really hard this semester to be on top of my work, to do things correctly, and not just, you know, leave things till the last minute. <laughs> but, yeah. Also, I changed my, my setup a little bit, I just kind of stayed in front of this decor. Let me know if you like it. But um, yeah, I thought that would be my first goal, so yeah, I will be posting every Sunday unless, you know, there's an emergency, but most likely there won't be, so it should be out on Sunday, no matter how late. And then um, my second goal is to do well in uni overall, be more organized, be on top of lectures, more prepared for coursework, and get that first, baby. So basically, as you guys probably saw in one of my other videos last year, I got a first overall and I was really, really happy about that. But I really wanted to make sure that I carried on that first, which is over 70%, into my second and final, uh, and final year. So the only reason my first year grade was important was because I was going to be applying to placements and I really wanted to make sure that I got one. And obviously I didn't foresee that COVID would be happening and that it would make the market a lot more competitive than normal. But yeah, I just want to be able to get good grades because I know I can achieve them. So yeah, that's something I've been wanting, at least for the first semester. I, As I said, I just finished my exams, but I get my results on the 18th. So hopefully those are good and, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'd be happy with whatever grade I get. But I think having like an aim usually makes me work a lot harder. So yeah, that's my second goal. My third goal was to, or two, is to incorporate more workouts and just have like an overall like healthy lifestyle. So this one obviously has been my aim for years now, but I think I've finally gotten to a point where I can really do that and like not feel like I'm forcing myself necessarily so for instance this morning I did a workout I didn't really feel like it but I still did it because I was like you know what Natalia you said you would do it so I did it it wasn't a super long workout it wasn't the most difficult workout I've done either but I probably will be feeling it tomorrow and I'm also kind of organizing runs that I'm gonna be doing with quite a couple of friends just so that I have like a, a, a routine, like that's what I feel like I've been missing, I just kind of do a workout whenever I feel like it, but I haven't really had like a steady routine, so I'm trying to like wake up more early, do a workout, uh, be more productive my day while the sun is out, even though it's gloomy as hell here and the sun comes down at like 4.30, but you know, all those little things has been made, like it just made me want to, you know, be more productive, I feel like whenever I do a workout I feel more productive, I also like feel good on the inside. So I just thought it would be something that I really wanted to incorporate in my life and incorporate now while I'm in Loughborough before I go for a placement because I feel like when I'm doing my placement I will have a lot more stress and if I have a steady workout now that will then I think spill into my life when I do my placement hopefully so that I can kind of continue that. So that was mostly like 
the idea behind this one. Um, the next one is clothes. I just put clothes, but basically what it means is like I want to be able to create like a closet that I'm really happy about and that I really enjoy because I have a lot of clothes that I feel like either don't fit me right or I've just had because I've had for years and they're convenient but I don't necessarily love, I guess. So I just want to be able to kind of create this closet that I really enjoy and that overall I just feel good in. And so that's been my aim for quite a couple of years. I think it was literally in my last um, 2020 goals actually. But um, I've actually been getting quite a few pieces. Like for instance, these pants, like they look great and they have like their wide leg. I don't know. I just really, I really wanted to get them and I had it for like a couple months where I had the size that was way too big for me because I effed up when I was exchanging <laughs> the pants. But I mean, I, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. But like, I got the right pair. That's all that matters. I still have to sell the previous one. So, by the way, check me out on Depop. Some stuff will be out there soon. That's basically my goal to just be happy with my closet and also invest in more sustainable pieces. I know it's, just, it's so expensive at the same time, but like I do want to be investing in more like pieces that are, will last, not just a month, six months, you know? So um, that's been my aim as well. So just, yeah. And I will be getting rid of some of the stuff that I either don't fit me right. Usually it's because they don't fit me right. And I just kept them because I felt like I could make use of them, but then I didn't do anything with them. So that will be all of my Depop. So make sure to check that out if you want to. I will be doing a whole photo shoot and something in the last next couple days, I think. So we'll see about that. Next one is to live in London. So as I mentioned just before, I do want to do a placement and what that means for people who are not in the UK, it basically means that you do an internship for an entire year. So usually and it, it's like part of your school program and you do it between your second and third year. So overall my university is going to be like four years because of it. So I specifically wanted to be living in London so that's why I put living in London because that's my, my goal, my aim. You bet that I've been looking on right move all these lovely apartments checking out what the prices are checking out how much i could afford and crying miserably because i know well not really crying but crying internally because i know that i wouldn't be able to pay for the nicest apartments that i really love but you know we'll see we'll see and um yeah i don't know i'm just excited to live in london see how it is and i feel like i've just wanted to live in london ever since i've been coming to uk and i've never really been able to spend a lot of time in london because of obviously like the virus and before the virus i had school so yeah that's another big aim of mine and I, and I hope that that works out still waiting on an internship by the way i did apply to a lot of places but yeah next one is to have a healthier eating slash lifestyle overall and this is also kind of works out like it kind of correlates with the working out part but i think i really want to be able to eat healthier because i have to say monzo really exposed me here by saying that the most amount of money i spent that year was on takeout and that was really like wow like damn this is where my money's going like i'm spending way more on takeouts than i am on groceries or anything else and groceries wasn't even second in line it was like pretty far down so um yeah uh i think because of that i was like okay i gotta get a little bit more serious with like eating healthier and like not just ordering out because that's easy and good but yeah i just i have to get shit together so i have been like getting more greens in because i definitely need to be eating more vegetables eating more protein as well like i generally just ate pasta a lot last year as well because of laziness and i think since i've been back which has been like maybe over a month i haven't had pasta at all because i just haven't had that craving so fun but you know we'll see and then next one is to get a placement so this one like i just said just like the internship and i've been applying like crazy like i think i've been applying i applied to like over 30 placements by now i've had one interview i haven't had a response yet but they said they would give me a response whether that's good or bad so hopefully that goes well i personally thought it went really well but we'll see how it goes and i'm just waiting like i've gotten a couple of rejections but like I've gotten like what six rejections and I've applied to like over 30 places so I kind of want to know for a lot of the placements that I applied to like the big companies especially like I just want to know at this point like if it's going to be a rejection or not because like I feel like they're kind of you know keeping me hanging there but I I know I'm going to find something eventually it's just 
kind of stressful not knowing yet where I'm going to be working, if I'm going to be working, all that jazz. So <laughs> yeah. Next one is to get my finances in check. So this one has actually been a goal of mine for like a little bit of a while. I want to first of all save, find out how to invest because that's something that has been on my mind and that I've been really wanting to do. And I actually downloaded an app but I can't fully start investing in stocks yet just because I don't have a national insurance number so I'm gonna be applying for that and see how it works but I mean it's something that's just genuinely very interesting it's something that I want to learn about it's something that can get you money as well and I think like the internship for instance most of them are pretty cheap I don't say cheap but like they don't they don't have like the biggest salary and if I want to be living in London for instance like it's it's a it's a pretty expensive lifestyle I mean even without like the partying and the clubs and everything which trust me that's expensive as hell like it's still pretty expensive living in London so yeah I want to learn how to invest and stuff because I, I think I'll be working in London after I graduate as well just for the next couple years and then see from there but I genuinely do want to learn about stocks and like the stock market and stuff like that so that's something I've been focusing on and something that I genuinely want to aspire towards I guess I do try to save money every month I don't end up saving a lot usually but I, I do try so I think that's something I would benefit a lot from and then my last goal for this year is to get monetized on YouTube. That would be amazing. I know that that's probably unlikely, but I can try my best to make sure that that happens just because I know that with uni and then at the same time, and I have a lot of coursework coming up for this semester, and then at the same time, I don't get a summer. Like basically most internships start July and uni finishes in June. So that doesn't give me a lot of window to be able to post like for instance twice a week or something. But I feel like if I can post twice a week, I will try. But I remember last year when I tried doing that, I was under so much stress just trying to get videos up. So it's, you know, you gotta be realistic too. Yeah, I think it'll probably be once a week, so it probably won't get monetized on YouTube, but it's a goal of mine and we'll see if we get there. Hopefully we do, hopefully if I do like a bit of like uh, apartment hunting in London, if that's something that interests you guys, tell me because I definitely want to fulfill like an apartment hunt in London like doesn't that sound so exciting like just viewing apartments like I do that in my free time like I genuinely love that so I think I might do a video like that I was thinking of doing a lot more fun like <laughs> just like funny videos as well just because I do enjoy doing vlogs for sure but I think like I don't have enough like talking videos or I'm like just like having fun with you guys so I think that's something I'm aiming towards as well on top of just like the university tips and tricks videos and I did have a coursework and exam video plan for you guys but it just wouldn't work and then by the time I tried to get it to work I just knew that it would be useless to like do it because most people had already finished exams so it will definitely be out for next semester so you guys can have tips on that my coursework video is probably going to come out first coursework usually comes out before exams so but yeah if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions on what you want to see of me this year definitely do that otherwise give it a like subscribe if you aren't already because I see that a lot of you who are viewing me are not subscribed I think like the number is like around 80 something percent so it's pretty high so I would really really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe and yeah and you'll see me next Sunday bye